having for my first meal of the day today a bowl of my beef vegetable soup that I had made, which is full of speed and free protein. And I also have free vegetables, peas, corn, and potatoes in here. I have quinoa, which is also a free food. And quinoa has lots of protein as well. So this is going to be my first meal of the day. And I topped it off with half of my second healthy extra A, which is this low-fat feta cheese. And back here you can see I have... Uh, part of a turkey breast, bone in turkey breast, that I am making turkey soup with. It's going to be a turkey vegetable soup because um, soup is going a long way in our house and we're really enjoying it. And here I have a side dish that I made, which could also be really um, part of a main, but I made it as a side dish in mind. Anyway, so in here I have zucchini, fresh mushrooms, a can of tomato paste, I have onion, garlic, and I also put a can of diced tomatoes in here and cooked it down on the stove. I sauteed it. And I'm looking forward to having that maybe later on today. And I will show you um, either in this video or in the next one that I've also put a quiche in the oven. So that's it for now. I'm going to go enjoy this for my lunch and I'll be back. The quiche all baked up. And boy, does it smell yummy. So in this quiche, I put eight eggs, three heaping tablespoons of fat-free cottage cheese, which I put into the Nutribullet together and blend it up. Then I put some of that into this baking dish, which I had sprayed with cooking spray. And then I put over top of that about two small white potatoes that were pre-cooked. I just sliced them up and added them, along with uh, my friend Stephanie makes this delicious looking chicken and turkey quiche. So I used up some of the turkey that I had to use um, and also some ham I added to this along with some peppers and onions which were also pre-cooked and some lazy garlic. On top I have for a quarter of this pie it will be one half of a healthy extra A which is a combination of fat-free mozzarella cheese and feta cheese, low reduced fat feta cheese. And that's it. I just baked it off I layered the cheese over the top and baked it off in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes, but I checked it at 30 minutes, and here it is, all done. And I think it's going to be really delicious. I just got in from work. I'm a little bit frustrated tonight because I left my shake that I had made for myself at home, the one that I always bring to work, and I made a three-sin shake, a shake that has only three cents. So I ended up buying these in a rush at work for $10.99 for four of them, which is very expensive. And I just realized now, I thought this was 130 calories because it was turned sideways in the box. It's 230 calories, oh my Lord. So that means this is 11 cents. Okay, so if we go over cents today, it's because of my stupidity. Here I have a tuna salad, which has speed in it. It has celery, carrots, onion, and parsley fresh parsley and it has two sins worth of light mayo in it here I have crackers which are Triscuit crackers which I have six of them for my healthy extra B and then I have some speed in the uh, grape tomatoes and in the half sour pickle so this is the last thing I hope to have tonight because and I am hungry um, and I, I plan to enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it. But I'm really upset about these shakes. But what are you going to do? Tomorrow's a new day, right? Hello there, YouTube family. I am here to speak to you about Tuesday's day of eating. And then I'll be back in the end to talk to you about Wednesday. So, Tuesday was a work day. And as you can see from what I told you in the video itself, as I was videoing it the day of, I said that the shake that I ended up having was 11 cents, I believe. It wasn't. It was 11 and a half, worse than even that. So my feedback is, well, I am not happy. I forgot to take the shake to work, as I said. And not only did I spend a lot of money, I spent a lot of cents, stupidly. But otherwise, it was a great day. And it still ended up being fine because my total cents for the day became 12 cents. But it's just the idea, right? So I ended up on one and a half healthy extra A's and one healthy extra B, and that would have been the Triscuits. Um, and I didn't end up eating the rest of the tuna salad. 
I put it away because I was just too full. I took two bites and I did eat the grape tomatoes and I did have the crackers. So that was the end of that day. I ended up at 14,000 plus steps. What ended up happening, which is really another thing that upset me is my, my watch died. And this watch doesn't track cumulatively. It's day to day. Now you, it's here for the day and it's gone at midnight the day of. So basically that's it um, for this day. So I'm going to turn you around again so you can see uh, Wednesday. This is what I'm having for lunch today. It's a little after one o'clock and I'm hungry and Jim and I have to go out. We have a leak in our sink in the kitchen so we have to go to Home Depot and get some parts. In any event, this is half of a serving of the quiche that I made yesterday with the ham and the turkey and the potatoes, peppers, onions, and feta cheese. And I have a couple grape tomatoes here to go with it. And I probably will have the other half for dinner or later on this afternoon for a snack, we'll see. Finally back from Home Depot and Lowe's. It's been about three and a half hours of spending time in those stores. I'm exhausted and I have a headache, but it's all good. It had to be done. So I'm hungry again, so I'm going to have just this um, bit of green lettuce greens. And on top of it, I put one and a half sins worth, which is one serving of this fat-free chunky blue cheese dressing. And I did also add some of this Salad Supreme Perfect Pinch salad topping on it. The salad topping is um, not sinned, only the blue cheese. And the greens are speed food, and you already know what's in the quiche. So I'm just off to enjoy this now. It's a little bit after 7 o'clock, or actually it's 7.30 already, my goodness. And this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. I had some more of the chicken thighs that I had prepped and some potatoes that I had prepped. And this is the zucchini um, mushroom onion saute that I did with the tomato paste. And over top of that, I have some grated cheese. I'm gonna count it as the second half of my healthy extra A, even though it's really not that much, but I'll just track it that way and I'm good with that. And if I have anything else, I'll be back. Oh, the chicken is free protein, all of the veg is speed, and the potatoes are a free food on Slimming World. Through the miracle of video, I am back to tell you uh, how Wednesday went. So, I did over 8,000 steps, and actually I didn't look anymore after 8,000. That was like the last time I looked at my watch, and I wrote it down at that time, figuring I'd probably fall asleep and then forget altogether. So, it was a good day of steps, decent. Um... And let's see what else I wanted to tell you. I ended on one and a half cents. And again, I just want to, uh, at the risk of sounding like I'm repeating myself, which I do this all the time, I am not sin focused. I'm not even trying to keep them low. I'm just eating accordingly. And this is how the sins are working out. I'm not really f sin focused. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. Um, they say 15 or even 5 to 10 sins is not the target. It's just there and allotted for you if you need it. So I'm happy about being low in sins. And I'm just mostly happy about eating without being on a diet. Honestly, that is what I'm happy about. And also the fact that I'm putting together plates that are balanced plates without really doing too much thought. I'm just making the food, putting it on the plate the way we're told on Slimming World and eating it, enjoying it, and moving on. And um, I seem to be a lot less hungry than I was even when I was eating two pounds of vegetables a day. Crazy me that I was. Um, but again, you know, if you don't try things, then you don't know. And when you have question marks, it's never good because you always wonder, well, would it have worked if I would have stuck with it longer and all that. Um, I do believe that what Stephanie advises is at least a month on a plan to give it a good shot. If you're really, really doing the plan, not half doing it, give a good month or even more of, you know, adjusting yourself to your plan and really doing it, getting the plan down, getting a routine in place, getting a system in place. These are things I am still working on. So that does take a, a good amount of time. And I'm into this now. I think I'm into this. Is, this will be my second way in tomorrow. I'm, just, I'm coming to you on Thursday making this video. So, um, yeah, it's important to give it give it its due time, um, like anything else, right? 
So, I just know, put a note to myself, great day on plan. I did have my healthy extra B. I seem to really be enjoying these Triscuits without overeating them. Um, even though Roy put something on. <laughs> the Triscuits are like eating wicker furniture. I tell you, there's a big difference between eating a plain Triscuit and eating a garlic and, and um, olive oil one or a, um, what is that? It's the tomato one. Roasted tomato or something. They taste a lot better. and But yet, they don't taste like chips where you're going to just keep eating them, at least not to me anyway. So I think it's win-win for me to have Triscuits. So... That does it for uh, this day of eating. Two healthy extra A's, one healthy extra B, one and a half cents. I think my meals were really good. Um, I think I had plenty of food to eat throughout the day. I do not feel hungry at all. I eat when I'm hungry, but I'm never famished hungry like I used to be when I wasn't eating well. I have to tell you, the only other time that I really felt this way was on Nutrisystem, even though I know Nutrisystem is processed and it's not healthy and all that. I, I give you all that. But the macros, they do know what they're doing with their macros if you follow the plan the way you're supposed to. And um, so it's a good feeling not to be on a diet and to be eating whole foods or more whole foods and lots of veg, you know, just good stuff and to feel like this is my lifestyle now. So, yeah, I find it, I, I'm calling it for me a blessing. So that's all for this video. Only thing I'm going to mention, as I always do at the end of the video, is to please do something to take care of yourself. Just make sure, no matter what you're trying to do, that you don't give up. That doesn't mean you can't take a little detour here and there, take some time off. Some people, some of us, myself included, at times need to take a break, a mental break from doing, trying to do this healthy weight loss thing, okay, or weight loss of any kind. It really, you do get fatigued by a diet or whatever it is that you're doing or trying to do. It does wear you out at, at times. If you're doing this for a long time, if you have a lot of weight to lose, those things are going to happen. And even when you get to maintenance, at some point in time, it may, the day may come where you start struggling and having difficulty to stay there. So all of the above can happen to us. And the most important thing in the end of the day is that when this does happen to us, if and when, that we do not give up. And that does not mean by any means that you can't take a break. Um, that's happened to me. You've seen my journey. You've seen what I've been doing for the last year and a half. It's been crazy, nuts. I look at me and I say, I'm nuts. And on that topic, I must tell you this. I went to the doctor today. And on my way out of there, I was planning to go to get sweet potatoes at Adams. I also needed to go to BJ's. I wanted gas and I wanted to pick up a couple things. Okay, that being said, I didn't have like an exact plan of Adams. Like it was, a, maybe I'll go or not go. I pull into Adams, which is right down the street from the doctors. And I was thinking I might go on my way back from BJ's, but I decided to go. And boy, am I glad that I did because it was meant to be. It was shocking that I was roaming around in my own head, looking at the vegetables and fruits and blah, blah. And all of a sudden, a woman, I'm walking this way and a woman is coming toward me and she smiles and says, hi, Ro, I'm Mary. And I didn't hear anything else after that because I looked at her and I said inside myself, oh my God, this is someone that knows me. And, and I'm supposed to know them and I have no idea who they are because they know me and they said, it's Mary, I'm Mary. And so I got it like a, <laughs> a second of panic. And then she went on to say that she is a subscriber. Now this to me was like, just this made my absolute year. Forget about my day. I was so excited to meet a subscriber and this lovely woman was, she was so sweet and we spent quite a long time chatting and it was a wonderful conversation and I'm just so grateful to her that she approached me because it's been a while that she's been watching my videos and uh it's just I don't know I, I'm just amazed like things like that are just like that was meant to happen that I decided to go there first so I would have never met her and I may not have ever met, met her who knows you know I mean we live in a fairly small town but that doesn't mean that you might necessarily run into someone who knows you from YouTube for sure, you know? So that was very exciting. So Mary, thank you so much for making my day and my year. And um, 
it was lovely chatting with you and I hope to see you again in the near future. And um, thank you so much. So back to taking care of you. Okay, you are important. You must do this for you. I cannot do this for you. I can support you. Our group can support you. Our chat can support you. Wherever it might be that you go for a meeting or the people that are in your life may be supporting you. I hope they are. But if you don't make the choice to take care of yourself in the end of the day, you are responsible for that, as am I and everyone else. And I'm not saying these words to you to be unkind. I'm just saying that my wish for you is that you be blessed and that you are able to make those choices for you to either get healthy or for you, if you're already healthy, for that you stay there because it is very, very important. You are important. And um, I would like to know how you're doing. So please put me some, put some info in the comments if you don't mind, or email me, Mrs. Roe D, M-R-S-R-O-E-D-E-E -E -E at Gmail. It's in the description box of every video. You may have to go down, scroll down, but it's in there in case you didn't get this. So please let me know how you're doing. I, it doesn't matter to me how you do it. You can comment here if you're not comfortable, email. And again, I encourage everyone to join Slimwin. Uh, it's a great group. I can't tell you how much support I get in that group. No matter what we're going through, we're all there for each other. And it's a blessing, another blessing in my life. Um, so on that note, I'm going to wish you and your family many blessings. I'm going to send you my hugs now. And I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I'm going to thank you so, so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. It helps me out. And I will look very forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Be well, YouTube family. Oh, 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 oh,